So Moses commanded the laws of God as our heritage. That's the keeping the Sabbath day holy. That's not buying or selling today. That, what, what do we got going on across the street right now? I'm pretty sure our brothers and sisters never knew this, but now we go edify them and teach them on how to keep the Sabbath day holy. Right. And by keeping the Sabbath day holy, what is that doing? That's bringing you back to your heritage. Yes, bringing you back to the laws of God. So let's get something on the Sabbath day. Let's show them that they're not supposed to be buying or selling. Let's give that Nehemiah. Because you can do that. You got six days of the week to do that. But today is the day of the Lord. Bring it out. You work, you work 9 to 5 all throughout the week. I'm pretty sure this is probably your biggest day for sales. Right. Trust me, it's the biggest day for sales across America. That's yeah. right. But just because it's big don't make it right. right. Read what you got. This is the book of Nehemiah, chapter 10, verse 31. And if the people of the land bring ware or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day. And that we would leave the seventh year in the exaction of every day. Right, so this is going into buying and selling on the Sabbath day. Let's read it from the top. And if the people of the land bring ware or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. So if people come and bring you any sort of merchandise or any sort of food on the Sabbath day, as we got going on right now, what are you supposed to do? That we would not buy it of them. That we, the children of Israel, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you would not buy it of them on what? We would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. On the Sabbath day. So just because somebody got a stand set up, when you hear the laws of God come out, you're supposed to repent from that and be like, look, today is the day of the Lord. I'm not supposed to buy it. I'm not supposed to sell. If somebody come up to you like, hey, bro, I got a deal today. Like, hey, no, no, it's the Sabbath day. And another reason, another way to combat this is because we're supposed to congregate on the Sabbath. Give me that Leviticus 23. Because right now, y'all really shouldn't be really out here at any sort of store. So y'all wouldn't be tempted of the devil to buy anything on the Sabbath day. Because why? You would be congregating with your family, Bring your brothers and your sisters, keeping these commandments. Read. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 23 and verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations, even these are my feasts. So these are holy convocations. This, this is Leviticus, the 23rd chapter. This lists the high holy days of the Most High God. This whole chapter lists all the high holy days, and one of them is the Sabbath day. And we read about the Sabbath day all throughout the scriptures. And why does the Most High God say, remember, 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 remember? Because we constantly forget and do whatever we want to do. Bring it out, huh? That's why the Most High God said he, he, the word remember is in this Bible so many times. Because we choose to ignore the Most High God. Let's read this from the topic again. Speak unto the children of Israel and say unto them concerning the feast of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. A holy convocation. A holy convocation is something that's separate. Holy is something separate. Because we are a separate and special people. What does that mean? We're not supposed to be doing what the world do. Just because the white man say, hey, sell your, sell your merchandise on the Sabbath day, don't mean you're supposed to do it. That's right. Just because you got every other store doing what they want to do doesn't mean that you do it. You don't follow it because you are a holy and a separate people. That means what? That means you move different. You don't conform to, the, to this world. Hey, brother, what's your name? Martin. Martin. Martin Luther King. <laughs> All right, brother. So, you know today is a Sabbath day. Have you been listening to what we going out over today? Today is a Sabbath day. It's the day of rest. Meaning you're not supposed to be out here buying or selling or training. So I don't want to see you go walk down the street and go in the store. Because it's the holy day to the Most High God. That's right. For the children of Israel. You're an Israelite. You say you're my thing, so I'm assuming you're Hispanic. Yeah. Look at the sign right here. Check this out right here. He showed me already. He showed it? Yeah, he All right, come, come down with me then. So now that you know that you are a child of the Most High God, you got to go to work. Okay, so you gotta go in. Okay, so we're gonna get you some of that. So look, you gotta go to work today, right? But we're gonna tell you, you better not go back next week. Okay? Don't even go today, really. Because today is the Most High God's Holy Sabbath day of rest. That's a separate and a holy day to the Most High God. So you're not supposed to be going to work. What you're supposed to be doing is sitting down, studying the scriptures with your brothers and sisters, and reverencing the Most High God. Not thinking about where your dollar gonna come from. Because the reason why you're thinking about your dollar, where it's going to come from, is because we're in captivity. That's right. Give me Baruch 3 and 8. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, 
and to be subject to payment according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our God. So listen up, listen up, everybody that's at the store right here, listen up. He said, behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are subject to payments because we disobeyed the Most High God. This scripture is saying the same thing, read. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. And my brother with the, my brother with the blue, blue shirt, blue jacket. You are today in your captivity. I see you got your little son right there. You got your son right there. Today you are in captivity. Why? Because you are subject to payments. Wherever you stay in there, you have to pay rent to somebody else so you can provide for your son. It's not supposed to be like that. You and your son are supposed to be ruling. Your son should be the heir to the throne to build the kingdom of Israel. That's right. So we got to teach him this. By that little boy listening to the words of God, most I can uh, put the spirit on him to raise up to be a leader one day. Because we're supposed to teach our kids about the Sabbath day and keeping it holy at a very young age. You, as a child of God, you were supposed to learn this at a very young age about keeping the Sabbath holy. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, verse 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. So, you're supposed to teach your son diligently. Diligently the commandments of the Most High God. First you have to learn it for yourself, and then it's a trickle-down effect. We have to teach our children to keep the Sabbath day holy. Read. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. And even when you're in your house, you're supposed to talk about the commandments. You're supposed to talk about the uh, stories, the war stories that we have in the Bible. Because right. this is a vast history. You see, all the, I, I'm sure your little son, he likes to watch Marvel and all these cartoons and everything like that. But where do you think they get it from? They get it from us. That's right. Because we are the greatest people. Read on. And when thou walkest by the way. And when you walkest by the way, you're telling your son, hey, you see them over there on the Sabbath? You see them selling that food? We're not supposed to be doing that on the Sabbath day. That's right. You see that sister pants over there? She ain't supposed to have those pants on. Because right. she's a princess of the Most High God. You're supposed to be teaching your children this. And the reason why we got violence in our community, the reason why we had the Latin Kings even rise up, because they wasn't even taught this as young children. They weren't taught to keep the commandments of the Most High God. Read on. And when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, even when you lie down and when you rise up, meaning even your bedtime stories, you telling your kids the commandments of this Bible and giving them the stories in this Bible. Yes, when they rise up, they got the Most High God on their mind and they study and they send up prayers. Because the Most High God will fight for us once we start listening to Him. We're going to keep talking. We're going to keep dealing with this right here about Bring raising your children. Give me two of the 5 and 20 actually. Let's get that. Because the fact that we didn't raise our children right, the enemy has said, look, they ain't going to do what we said to do. We are going to keep putting them and oppressing them at the bottom. We are going to keep making them last, high, and first fire. We are going to keep making them paycheck to paycheck. Why? Because the Most High God said, look, you didn't want to listen to me, now I have to punish you for your sin. This is the book of Judas, chapter 5, verse 20. Now therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God. Listen to this, listen to this. The scripture is saying, if there be any error in his people, and they sin against the Most High God. If there be any error, meaning if there be any sin in his people, and you sin against the Most High God, read on what? Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. This shall be your ruin. If you sin against the Most High God, read. And let us go up and we... Hey, excuse me, excuse me, sir, with the family right here. I got a question for you. Hey, sir, with the family right here, I got a question for you. Are you in your captivity today, subject to payments? Do your daughters and your sons know that they are not free today? Read on. We will prove it. Read on. Read it from the top. For the family right here. Now therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God, let us consider that this shall be their ruin. And let us go up, and we shall overcome them. So, it's saying if there be any error in this people, that's going to be what their downfall is. Meaning as long as you sin, the enemy can rise up. How do they rise up today? I've been saying it a million times. We have to pay rent to, uh, on the land that y'all was in. That's right. Y'all was here on this land before, you, before they got here. Y'all, uh, look at these signs right here and understand this is your family history. Bring it out. But what's happening in the school system today? They don't even want to put this in the school system today. Chief. They are having petitions being written out to where they are taking out black history. And guess what? Black history is Hispanic history. That's right. Because we are the same people. We are oppressed together. Give me that. 
Because y'all see black brothers up here teaching, and y'all say, why are y'all in our communities? Why don't y'all go up the block? Why don't y'all go to the south side? Why don't y'all go to the north side? Listen, listen to this. Because y'all think we was oppressed at a separate time. My family right here, my family right here. Do y'all know who y'all according to the Bible? Did y'all know y'all the greatest people on earth? Look at that flyer and read that. Read what you got. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50 and verse 33. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. No, we was oppressed separately. Were oppressed together. That's not my brother, that's not my sister. Were oppressed together. We went in slavery and we are still in slavery and in captivity today, oppressed together. Why? Because we pay out our rent to somebody else. We can't get the natural textiles that we want. Give me that in Deuteronomy 28. We're going to go over that. Because we got to show the people who they are today. Because they don't know that they are holy and a special people. This whole family right here, all of y'all people standing right here, y'all are royalty. Y'all are not Hispanics. Y'all are not just Native Americans. Y'all are the children of the Most High God. And this is what we're trying to tell y'all. We're trying to wake y'all up to get to that next level. But a lot of y'all are docile. Y'all don't give a damn. Right. But y'all are the greatest people on the earth. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Most High God said, you are a holy people. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. He has selected you. Meaning he chose you. You are special, you are separate. Bring you. He has chosen you to be a special people unto himself. Above all people. No, y'all are equal to all people. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You Hispanics, you Mexicans, you are above all people on the face of the earth. You are above the white man. You are above the Chinese. You are above the Arab. But why are you at the bottom? At the most high God said you are above. Because y'all don't want to listen. Bring it out. Y'all are stiff neck. Read on. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he has sworn unto your fathers, have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondman from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Right. He redeemed us out of the Pharaoh, the king of Egypt back then. But why are we still in captivity today? We got delivered once, and now we got put right back into captivity because we were stiff-necked and didn't want to listen. We chose to disobey the Most High God. We chose to break the Sabbath day. Today is the Sabbath day, little do you know, and we're not supposed to be buying, selling on this day. But what is the what happens on the Sabbath day? You get off work, and the first thing you do is, oh, what am I going to do on Saturday? What kind of party can I go to on the Sabbath day? You shouldn't be going out. You should be congregating with your brothers and sisters, keeping the commandments. Sure. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.